Hi, Edexcel IT Guru YouTube channel is to help the students who are learning information technology as a subject under Pearson Edexcel syllabus. So in this video, we will see a walkthrough of the IES IT Unit 1 paper under uh, software, a subtopic called firmware. At the end of the video, we will be giving exam questions that you need to practice. Okay, so starting with the lesson. <clears throat> what is firmware? You can simply think of firmware as the software for hardware. In a more descriptive way, firmware is a program that has set of instructions to function and control the hardware devices. Firmware is stored in permanent memory and it's read only. The best example is firmware is stored in your computer inside ROM. Ran, uh, read-only memory and it has the instructions to boot the computer with the OS operating system before loading the OS a firmware called BIOS basic input output system check uh, is to run in to ensure all devices are connected properly and we also have uh, firmware in routers switches firewalls and then uh, home appliances such as washing machines, remote controllers. If we see a layered model, firmware is locating between the computer hardware and the operating system. Let's say uh, you switched on your computer. Uh, Look at, uh, look at the bottom of the this diagram where a uh, PC is there. So when you switched on your computer, then it checked the post, which means it checks uh, if it gets the sufficient power to start. If that is okay, then the firmware called BIOS in ROM, uh, the second layer from the bottom, uh, firmware called BIOS in the ROM will be checking if all devices are attached properly, such as hard disk, RAM, keyboard, and then if it is passed, then it instructs the OS to start. And thereafter, we can work on our applications on top of the operating system. Here are some real world examples of firmware. In computers, uh, firmware comes embedded in a small memory chip. Computer peripherals such as video cards and graphic cards also contain the firmware. And home appliances such as washing machines, dishwashers, uh, utilize the firmware. It enables machine to communicate with the computer, configuring the settings and the controls of the uh, appliances. And also in the storage devices such as hard disk drives, portable storage devices and USB drives, uh, the firmware inside these allows the uh, devices to function with the computer system. And then in smart cards, uh, smart cards includes uh, an embedded integrated circuit chip that is called ICC. It could be a microcontroller or a memory chip. Uh, smart cards also contain firmware to embed instructions in the chip uh, to offer basic functionalities like encryption and authentication when you are doing the secure transaction, the security is a must. So, and also uh, we can see firmware in the vehicles uh, vehicle sensors, small computers and embedded systems with firmware that helps them perform their task. Firmware is also a sort of software that works on hardware. So let's see how firmware differs from software. Here are the differences. Uh, a Software is a set of instructions that specify what the computer does, whereas firmware is type of a software that controls hardware devices. Uh, software is written, uh, uh, examples are application software and system software. Uh, for firmware, the examples are BIOS and e, uh, EFI. And the software files are much larger. It could be kilobytes, megabytes, or gigabytes, whereas firmware is few kilobytes and its size is small. The software is written in, uh, it could be written in either high level languages or low level programming languages, whereas firmware is only written from low level languages. 
when a, a low level language is a programming language that provides little or no abstraction of programming concepts and it is very close to writing actual machine instructions two examples of low level languages are assembly and machine code software is easy to update or modify like uh, we usually do uh, software updates in our computers uh, but firmware it's hard or impossible to update because i hope you haven't heard that we are doing we do like software updates in our computers mobile devices but we uh, never experience like we are updating our firmware and software is visible and it interacts with the users with us but uh, firmware is hidden and locked in the computer or inside the devices that we don't interact directly with the firmware uh, software is run on the cpus uh, whereas the firmware is uh, runs on purpose built and uh, it's uh, inside tiny processors software is subject to constant change and firmware it's uh, embedded uh, during the manufacturing process and uh, extremely rare of changing and software it's a long development cycle and it needs a lot of uh, effort and time and there are many cycles happening from from the requirements to deployment uh, but in firmware it's a short development cycle and it needs little time As firmware is developed by mostly uh, there are uh, embedded system engineers or so firmware engineers who are working on firmware So that's about the firmware. Uh, please practice the Excel past paper questions and some of the extra questions mentioned here. Uh, if you want the answers for any of these questions, feel free to comment uh, in the uh, comment section. So with the question number so that I can answer. Okay, good luck.